Hello everybody and welcome to Satisfactory Update 6. In this series, I'll be starting a new game in the Northern Forest where I will be explaining what I do and why I do it, along with some overall tips and tricks. We are choosing to start in the Northern Forest because I haven't started in that biome yet since they reworked it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with it. So I am skipping the intro in this series. I've done that intro many times, but if you're new to this game, I suggest you do it at least once. So we got lots of iron over here. As you can see, we got six iron at the top of the screen. We won't run out anytime soon. And there's a copper right here and there's a limestone over here. There's also two more limestones over here. So we will have lots of concrete. Always pick up all the leaves you can because you're going to need a ton of leaves to create biomass for the biomass converters. So I want to drop the hub somewhere around here. Just like that. Now, ideally, we would convert the leaves to biomass. So we are going to do that right now real quick. We are going to need a third biomass really quickly. So I might as well just do it right now before we get started. Now we will put in the biomass. All right, we are right next to the copper, so we might as well do that one first. Let's clear this out so we can put a miner on it. Right now, we are just going to do a simple smelter. We are not going to mine the spaghetti because it'll all change fairly soon. From the smelter, we are going to go into a constructor and then we will be storing everything into the storage container. Let's hook it up with belts. We're going to set this to copper ingots and this to wires. Now, it only takes 15 ingots, so realistically, once we unlock the splitter, we will be able to create two constructors off of the one smelter for better efficiency. Now, all that's left to do is to hook it up to the power, and the copper will be done for now. Now, let's do the iron. We are going to first take care of this. Then we will put down a miner, followed by a smelter. And then we will have that go into a constructor. Now to speed up the process of building, you're going to want to just middle mouse click on a existing structure. And that will allow you to not have to go into the menu every time. Now we are just going to finish the belts over here. And finally, just bring some power over here. Now I'm putting down two poles here because realistically to daisy chain poles, you can only hook up two machines per poles. So, and I need to bring the pole down to the other iron over here. I'm gonna take care of this hog right here. Oh, what the heck? Spider already? Ah, get over here. Wow. Okay. Another one? The heck? There must be a cave around here or something. There is a cave. Okay. More like O oh, cave. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to want to harvest that as uh, quickly as possible. Yeah, we're going to grab this um, because if we don't, the voice of the girl will continue forever and it'll be really annoying. Comply. I am complying. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video so far and leave a comment down below if you've got feedback. I would love to hear it. All right, let's get back to it. Another Mark 1 now. From that Mark 1, we are going to do another smelter. We forgot to set this up, so I guess we'll do that now. So some iron ingots. And then over here, some iron plates. Next, we will do the iron rods, which we will do over here. So iron ingots. And then we are going to do a constructor. And then we will set the constructor to some iron rod. Next, let's uh, do this limestone. 
breakfast. For concrete, it's a little bit more simple. All we need is a miner that goes into a constructor. So we can skip the smelter. And then we want to make sure we add a storage for that concrete and belt it up. All that's left now is the power and then we'll be done with the concrete. Okay, so now that's done. Let's head over to look at the tier lists. Base building is good for starting your factory, but we're not quite there yet. I want to ramp up our production. So going to logistics to get in the splitters and mergers is a must. So let's do that real quick. And there you go. We have logistics done. Okay, so now we can start doing the base building. All right, now that we have splitters and mergers, I'm going to work on the biomass constructors so that we don't have to convert the leaves to biomass manually. We are going to need two of these um, because we there's two different types of biomass that we can do right now, one from leaves and one from wood. So now all we have to do is dump each one respectively in its own container and it'll get created uh, automatically for us. So we want to merge the two lines together to create just one line of biomass heading into a container. So now we have two different constructors doing biomass, one for leaves and one for wood, and they merge into one line for the storage. Next, we want to do another constructor of wires so that we can then do the cables. And for this, we are going to split this line coming from the smelter, heading into the constructor doing the wires, and then we are going to create a new constructor to do the cables. Now this takes 60 wires per minute to do 30 cables. So in an ideal world, we would branch off the ore to create two smelters, one just for the cables. So we are going to do that right now. I'm going to add a splitter here. And now we have 30 over here and 30 over here. And now what we can do is have this go directly into the constructor and then create a second constructor right next to it. And then we will put a merger on this line for the cables and set this one up to do wires, 30 wires per minute. And the other one also does 30 wires per minute for a total of 60 wires per minute. And now I'll go into the cables so 60 wires per minute to do 30 cables per minute and that will all head into a storage last thing we need to do is hook this up to the power and hook the other one to the power also oh and split the line coming from the smelter to go into the constructor and there you go. Now as a recap, the miner takes 60 ores per minute and it splits into two for 30 ores per minute in each smelter. Each smelter does 30 ingots per minute. This one splits into two to do 15 ingots per minute for each constructor. Each one will do 30 wires per minute. So that's a total of 60 wires per minute being merged into this line and heading into the constructor here to do 30 cables per minute. Now we will create a fourth biomass right here and hook it up to the power lines. Seem to be out of space, so let's take that off, make a new pole and rehook it, and then hook it to the biomass. Now we have enough for the base building milestone to be done, so let's turn that in right now. The next milestone we will want is the obstacle clearing. That will give us a chainsaw to allow to cut down the trees and also the recipe to create solid biofuel, which is more efficient than the biomass. 
Next, we need to start working on the screws. First, we will make a new miner and set this to be our new plate setup. And then we'll use the old plate setup for the screws. The reason for that is we need more plates than screws, and this will help us produce more plates. So we set two smelters to each do iron ingots. Okay, then we will create a constructor. Well, two of them because each one does 20 iron plates per minute. And they take in 30 ingots per minute, which is equal to one of those smelters. So we got two smelters. So that means two constructors. Just gonna grab a storage box and merge those two lines into the storage box. So now we have double the output that we had earlier for the iron plates. Now what we are going to want to do is change the old iron plate constructor to be doing iron rods now. So since this only takes 15 iron ingots per constructor, we're going to double the constructors and split that line of iron ingots into two. Just like that and head into here. Okay. Now these two are doing iron rods. We are going to remove this now and have these rods go into the constructor to make screws. Then we'll store the screws in a container. This smelter is only taking in 30 iron per minute and the miner does 60. So we can split this line to create a second smelter. And we are going to create a constructor that does more iron plates for us. And we'll merge those iron plates in with the other line over there. The last things we'll want to do right now is create a second constructor for our limestone. Now, it's not going to be efficient, obviously, because we only have 15 more ores per minute and it takes 45 to fully cap out a constructor. So we're only going to be able to do five concrete per minute extra. But listen, five is better than zero. So and we're going to need lots of concrete. Okay. Oh. Of course, the power is broken. So we're going to have to do an extra biomass converter over here. So let's do that. Gotta love the spaghetti mess right here of all the poles. That's nice. I'll be gone soon enough. Don't worry. And let's grab some biomass and top all that stuff up. Okay, so that's done. All right, now we got the stuff to do the obstacle clearing. So let's do that. All right, so that's good. Having the solid biofuel is the best pre-coal fuel we can get. So that'll make things a lot better and more efficient. Next, um, I think, well, field research will give us the map and the MAM, which is good to have. And I have pretty much everything here except the screws, but I should get it by the time the pod returns. So you know what? Let's go with that. While we are waiting for the pod, let's make the solid biofuel automated. So we need a new constructor. Constructor will be doing some solid biofuel and that will head into a storage container. There you go. We got solid biofuel being done now. Good. All right. The pot is back. We are going to do the field research now. There you go. Now we have access to the MAM and the map. And we will want to do the part assembly next to get access to the assembler. Now we'll want to create our chainsaw so that we can start clearing out the trees around our base and gather a whole bunch of resources for fuel. Next, we'll just need to grab some solid biofuel for our chainsaw. And then we are going to go cut some trees down. Now I want to create a MAM so that we can do some research. Let's research what we can right now. First, some hog, stinger, caterium, 
Basilia, fabric, pale berries, finally bacon agaric. All right, now I think we are going to want to build above this arch. Yeah, I think that'd be the best way because then we could scale up or side. Let's try to get up there and see what we can do here. Oh, there's a slug up here. Nice. Let's grab that. All right, we'll put the platform like this. Hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, nice. Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. That's crazy. I can't believe I survived that, honestly. <laughs> wow. All right. We have the stuff for the part assembly, so let's turn that in right now. There we go. Okay, so I built a ramp uh, up above the arch to this big platform, okay? And this is where we are going to build our starter factory that will produce everything we need pretty much up until rotors. Next, we have enough for the resource sink bonus program, so let's do that. That'll give us access to the sink. That'll allow us to unlock new buildables and stuff. And the next thing we're going to build is the Logistics Mark IIs. Um, because then we can start bringing in 120 belts up to our platform above. All right, now we need a ton of reinforced iron plates for our build above. And there's two iron nodes not being used right here. So I'm going to build a small factory that will produce 10 reinforced iron plates a minute. All right, let's have a look at an assembler with the reinforced iron plate to see what we need. We're going to need two Mark I miners producing 60 ores each for 120 ores. These will be split into four smelters for 30 ore each. Three of these smelters will go on to do iron plates. So we will need three constructors for that. 30 ingots per smelter goes for 20 iron plates per constructor. That gives us a total of 60 iron plates. These 60 iron plates will be split into two different assemblers. The last smelter will bring 30 iron ingots into two different constructors for iron rods, each taking 15 iron ingots. Then the two constructors merge the line of iron rods into a line of 30 that then gets splits into three lines of 10 iron rods each. These lines head into three constructors to create screws. Each constructor creates 40 screws a minute. Then we low balance the three lines of 40 screws a minute into two lines of 60 screws a minute that head into the two assemblers. All right, so I'll build it and I'll be right back. All right, we have two miners each producing 60 ores a minute. They each branch off into two different smelters for a total of four smelters doing 30 iron ingots a minute each. Now the first three head into three different constructors. Each constructor does 20 iron plates per minute and they all merge into one line of 60 iron plates per minute. Now this line heads over here into a splitter and it splits the iron plates into 230 iron plates per minute each for the two assemblers. Next, we have the last smelter it takes 30 ingots split into two constructors for 15 iron ingots each. They each produce 15 iron rods each. These 15 iron rods each merge into a line of 30 iron rods and this line splits into three lines of 10 iron rods each. These constructors, there's three of them, they each take 10 iron rods and they produce 40 screws each. Then these three constructors of screws low balances into two different lines of screws doing 60 screws a minute each that heads into the assemblers. Now after a little bit I was able to get 50 reinforced iron plates and now we will turn in the logistics mark 2. 
And just like that, we have everything we need to start building our factory upstairs. And we will be doing that in the next episode. Until then, take care.